Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's rolling. Hey, this is RJ. I'm going upstairs and doing an interview on WCPN 90.3, Cleveland Public Broadcasting. And I'm going to talk about James Brown. Tomorrow is his birthday. I'm going to talk about the band going back to work. I'm going to talk about filming the reality TV show, The Return of the James Brown Band. Stay tuned. You're listening to Around Noon on 90.3. I'm Dee Perry, and this is the show for Monday, May the 2nd. One. Two, one, two, three, four. Tomorrow marks the birth anniversary of the godfather of soul, James Brown. Inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1986, Brown was known as the hardest working man in show business. But for four decades, a Cleveland man worked hard alongside soul brother number one as his dedicated number two. Roosevelt R.J. Johnson served as Brown's personal valet, often sharing the stage with him as he did during the legend's final concert in 2006. But on Christmas Day of that year, it all came to a close as James Brown passed away at the age of 73. Today, Roosevelt Johnson is trying to reignite the music of his dear friend by assembling a collection of his former sidemen called R.J. and the James Brown Band. On the eve of what would have been James Brown's 78th birthday, Roosevelt Johnson joins me to share memories of his dear friend. And R.J., welcome. It's good to have you with us. Good afternoon, and thank you for having me. You met James Brown here in Cleveland when you were still just a boy, and I understand you two shared a passion for fashion. Um, give us a little little sketch of that first time when when you saw him getting off of an airplane. What was your what well, were your first thoughts? I had I went. Uh, you may remember Ken Hawkins, mm-hmm. J.L. Wright, yep. from WJMO Radio. I was a little kid. I used to buy those uh, ham and egg and cheese sandwiches from the Big Penny restaurant <laughs> on Euclid. Mm-hmm. That was my job at the radio station, to go get the coffee and the sandwiches. I was a kid, you know, nothing else to do. So one day they told me, uh, we're going to go shopping. Would you like to go with us? Fine, no problem. So we didn't go shopping. We went to Burke Lakefront Airport. And we're sitting here by the fence, you know, we sitting in the car waiting. I'm like, what, what, I'm, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, what is it to buy here at the airport, you know? <laughs> so the, the jet lands and uh, this guy gets out the jet, all his hair, and he's good looking, and it's James Brown. I'm like, oh, wow, a brother with his own jet? This, this is cool, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, so uh, they introduced me to him, and I, I said, uh, he, he was like, uh, you, I, I said, yes, sir, to him, mm-hmm. you know. And so he was like, oh, you got manners. You're a nice kid. So from that point on, it was on with me and him. Yeah, you know? he, he came back and forth to Cleveland. And 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 part of that wasn't just doing shows. He was he was great at promotion. Well, he he, he would... recorded right there in Cincinnati at King Records. So he mm-hmm. was in Ohio all the time, mm-hmm. basically. And to take the jet up to Cleveland was nothing for him to do. He had a lot of friends here, and he shopped here. He went to uh, King's Men's Wear and the old uh, Lee Harvard Shopping Plaza and bought leather coats and shirts mm-hmm. and things there. And um, and he would ask for you when he came to he, town. Yeah, because I held his coat. That was my job, mm-hmm. to hold his coat. That's all he wanted me to do. And so how did you graduate from from holding Mr. Brown's coat as as a kid to his number one right-hand man. It just evolved with growth of the relationship. Mm-hmm. The more I hung around him, the more things he gave me to do, you know, and uh, the better I did him, the more he would entrust in me to do. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, it, it got us so far as when he didn't want to go to rehearsal, he would send me. When he didn't want to go to ch- sound check, he would send me. So that's how I got to do his part in and, all and, of the shows. Oh, so you would... St- Stand in his Stand place in and him. sing. Right. That's what I would do with the band. The band would hate to see me coming because they know <laughs> I'm going to come in and I'm going to do the same thing he does, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be worse, you know, because I know what he's going to He's listening, you know, because wherever we did is that he was somewhere listening, you know. Huh. So he wanted to see how it go and I'd see if I could handle it. And that's basically um, why he had me on stage with him. He wanted me to watch everything that he did and how he did it and how he would uh, treat the crowd, how the crowd would the crowd would treat him mm. and it went from there describe a, a typical day if if there was one working with james with him? Brown. oh mm. god i was the first one up and the last one to go to bed because i had to get him up mm-hmm. you know i had to get him up uh get his hair done that's a three-hour process getting his hair done and getting his clothes laid out and and uh 
getting him ready to go out the door at a certain time. You and know? and you were the one who picked those clothes. I did the clothes. I got every all of his outfits and things from street clothes to stage clothes. That was my job to do. He knew nothing about it. He just, I would say, I may ask him what color you want to wear if you want to wear a certain color or something today. Whatever you put out, Mister J. You know, mm. no problem. You know, sometimes uh, I remember <laughs> I remember an incident. Uh, where I had bought him uh, these certain type of underwear, and he didn't like them. You know, he just, oh, my God. Uh, we just finished the uh, 90.3 WCTN D. Perry Idea Stream show. It went great. Good interview. She talked about James Brown. Had me go back and get some memories I had forgot about. But it was great, and I hope you tune in. Listen to it on WCPN.org. Go to the Idea Stream. And you can get the whole broadcast. Check it out.